Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be creating this uh, alert view uh, animation that I want to show you really quickly so how it looks so basically you're gonna have this uh, alert view that's gonna show up and uh, then it's gonna disappear after some time so uh, we are gonna be creating this and we're gonna be creating our custom uh, transitions so you're gonna learn how to use custom transitions and uh, then you're gonna build this uh, this thing out so let's go ahead and get started okay so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a state variable Okay, and then we're gonna have initializer. So in this initializer, I'm gonna actually format this uh, navigation controller. So this is how you can actually change your navigation controller if you want to. Uh, I mean, the colors of navigation controller. So your UI navigation bar dot appearance dot background color is equal to orange color. Okay, UI navigation. R dot appearance dot large title text attribute so large title all right so these are not showing up so that means we will have to type it title text attribute attributes yeah attributes and then it takes uh, a dictionary so we're gonna have for ground color UI color dot white okay so that's the only thing that we need right now all right next thing we're gonna create an uh, error label or alert label whatever you want to call it And this is going to return an edge stack spacer. I'm going to say error this time. We did welcome back uh, in the example, but you can easily change um, colors and stuff. Font weight is going to be bold. And foreground color is going to be white. And there's going to be a spacer, so we can actually leave this text in the middle. Frame is going to be only height that we're going to define. And background is going to be red. Color dot red. Okay. There we go. And uh, then, let me text align these. There we go. Awesome. All right. So then uh, we can actually look into our body, and in the body, we, can, we will create a navigation view. So we stack inside the navigation view. So if we're going to say if we should show, then we're going to say error label dot transition. And we're gonna provide a transition here so uh, we should create our own transition object basically uh, to combine a couple of transitions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend or provide an extension to any transition and this is how you can create your own transitions uh, static var fade and slide we're gonna create and this is gonna be of type any transition and it's gonna return any transition you don't need a return keyword any transition dot move okay and uh, the edge is going to be trailing so we're gonna do the move first and then we're gonna combine this with opacity opacity like that okay so we're gonna create this uh, we created this transaction in, uh, trans, uh, trans trans transition sorry um, we created this transition and we're gonna apply that one so we're gonna say dot asymmetric and uh, insertion is gonna be fade and slide and removal is gonna be fade and slide as well 
basically insertion of the view and and removal of the view that's what it's talking about here and then we're gonna have a spacer and spacer like that okay and uh, then we're gonna say our navigation bar title uh, let's give it a home title and uh, display mode uh, let's give it a large animation is gonna be animation dot is in and out okay then we're gonna say on appear oh, so you can actually do it on button click server event anything like that we're gonna do it on on appear and we're gonna say animate and uh, basically you want to create a function if, um, for our animation so we can actually provide custom delays and stuff so you can say func animate and delay with seconds okay and that's gonna take seconds of type time interval action which is gonna be escaping closure okay and then we're gonna have our action so here we're gonna say with animation and you can actually have anything I'm just gonna have our action uh, closure here and uh, um, then we can simply say self dot animate and give it delay and we want to delay for one second uh, for showing and we're gonna simply say self dot should show is equal to true okay and that's gonna be our uh, the block that we're using here and we don't need this guy right here okay then we're gonna say self dot animate and uh, we're gonna wait for four seconds and then we want to say um, hey execute the other action which is gonna be should show label is equal to false so basically hide that um, hide that um, error error banner okay so there we go we have that and uh, we are waiting and waiting and waiting okay all right uh, the reason is our animation executed without us realizing uh, the thing is we have to put a delay so dispatch queue uh, dot main dot async after is what we are after and uh, we're gonna say deadline is gonna be now and the seconds that we were actually expecting the user to pass that's what we need so we need async after because what's gonna happen is as soon as this is called our our view is gonna get executed and then and then it's just gonna be uh, it's just gonna be executed so it's not gonna be visible to us okay there we go so there we have the error sliding in and sliding out and disappearing okay so yeah so this is it for this video i just wanted to show you how you can uh, simply uh, combine some of the uh, uh, transitions and uh, make a really beautiful um, you know um, transition animation to show a, uh, a notification label okay all right so this is it for this video thanks again for